Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. That's right. I'm doing another video. This time I am doing another video. I want to say based on two poems. Yeah, this is a, two poems I have written. I wrote one last night before I went to bed, and I wrote another one this morning as ever. So get ready as I read you these two poems, and I got a feeling you're going to love them very much. So get ready as I get them out. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to tell you about these poems, and I got a feeling you guys are going to love this one. So, get ready as I read you these poems. Yeah, get ready. before I read them, let me tell you about them. As well. The first poem I've written is based on my favorite area in Connecticut, West Hartford. And in this poem, I, written about, I have written about four sisters that live, four, four sisters that live in West Hartford. Four sisters that live in West Hartford that happen to rule the area of it and the streets of it as ever. Let's just say I've watched a lot of films where most men are the one doing the ruling of an area or city as mobsters and clans, and you know what I mean. So why not for once for a change? Why not once for something to happen as a change? Like with female power happening. I mean, what if women will ruin the area and this will ruin the area of West Hartford? I mean, what was I saying? Yeah. What if women were ruling the area of where they lived, including the streets of it? Say, like, ruin the area of West Hartford as ever. And the streets of it as ever, like I said. So, I wanted to write something about this, and this seemed very good to me. Actually, it was very good to me as ever, and I'm glad I got to write this. So, get ready as I read you this poem. The first poem I've written is called West Hartford Sisters. And I dedicate this poem to someone that I know, an employment specialist at Common Ground, which happens to be Victoria, because she is from West Hartford. And Victoria, I hope you love this one, because I dedicate this one to you as ever. I see four sisters with no fear, coming together every year. They rule the streets very well. Let the story be tell. West Hartford is where they exist. They know the throwdown rules with a fist. You may see them in a clan, making an unforgiving plan. I would not screw with them, which is the worst part in their system. The minute you hear them coming very quick, time will start to gnaw and tick. The streets are home to them as they run. It is not a landscape for fun. They have built a rising empire, a way of being inspired. Their throne is something to adore. A lot of people have seen it before. Justice is settled in their own way against those that will pay. Their eyes are open wide. So prepare to hide. West Hartford sisters forever. And like I said, I dedicate this poem straight to Victoria of Employment Specialists of Employment, yeah, Employment Services at um, Common Ground. So, Victoria, I hope you love this one as ever. All right. Let's see. Now, the second poem I have written is based on a Welsh, is based on a woman that was that's been cheated on real badly by someone she had she was in love with when that someone cheated on her real bad it just led her to gain very livid as ever so livid that picture her trying to end that person that broke her heart real bad as ever and she will not let it slide until he pays the price so the second poem I've written is called, and I, I have a feeling you guys are gonna love this one. The second one, yep, this poem is based on a woman that lives in Wales, and she, yeah, she got hurt real bad when that person she was in, that she really had her eyes set on, that she was a couple with, had cheated on her real badly. So get ready as I came up with this, get ready before, get ready as I read this poem. Before I, before I read this, let me tell you about this. I came up with the title, for this poem, I mean, 
To be honest, when I was growing up, I've seen a lot of films that involve women getting hurt by men real badly because men want someone else besides the one they are with. And they always do this all the time, and it's never a good thing, especially breaking someone's heart as ever. So get ready as I show you this one that you guys are going to love very much. Get ready as I show you this. Get ready as I show this to you guys. I call this, yeah. I came up with this title, and it's based on from a film that Tyler Perry did back in 2005. It's called Diary of a Mad Black Woman. And, yep, yeah, so I wanted to come up with a title for this poem. This poem, so. The name of this poem I've written is called Diary of a Mad Welsh Woman. You have broken a Welsh woman's trust, sending it straight to dust. You can tell her eyes are closed. She wants to aim for your nose. Her heart didn't deserve to get crushed, like someone smashing a brush. You brought in a game called Cheat, which isn't a very good treat. She has a look on her face, knowing there is no grace. She plans to kick you in the nuts, better than the guts. You cross a very deep line, causing the sun not to shine. Revenge has risen before. Get ready for what it has in store. There you have it. I have read you the two poems I have written since yesterday and today. One, West Hartford Sisters, and two, Diary of a Mad Welsh Woman. So there you have it for today's video. This is part nine. I hope you guys enjoy this, so feel free to check it out. If you do, just feel free just enjoy it. Something to keep you guys busy and occupied as ever. Thank you for your time and hope to see you again next time.